Hello, this is Patreon Dark. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm giving my first impressions on a holster that we just received for t &E. It's all leather, outside the waistband for a compact 1911, and it's from Falco and our friends at Craft Holsters. And I'm going to give you my opinions on some things, uh, good and bad. So, let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to keep this one brief since it's just the first impressions. I received this holster yesterday and I did fit it last night to my Colt New Agent, which is a compact 1911 with a three inch barrel. Um, I just basically wrapped it in saran wrap and inserted it into the uh, leather holster. Now, when I did receive this, um, the big elephant in the room is it's in mahogany, which if, if you know anything about me, I like the black but uh, we, we will get over that. Um, the feel is really nice. Um, it is uh, one of the thin uh, leather holsters. All right, so compared to some of the other uh, American holsters, the leather is thin. But with this, um, they use a lacquer um, coating the outside of the leather, and I believe that's what gives it its rigidity because it's surprisingly, even though it is thinner, um, it is, you know, really rigid <laughs> um, the edges feel pretty nice it is double stitched right and so I look over everything as far as uh, trying to find any things that are you know kind of messed up or whatever and the only thing I find on this holster is um, when you order these holsters uh, from Europe because craft holsters is out of Slovakia um, you should check out the rest of the videos in my holster and belt series uh, but they're out of Slovakia and Europe, and they use local craftsmen um, to you know, build their holsters. And over there, some of their sizes for belts are a little narrower, and so you have to kind of ask for uh, you know a larger size. And I believe these holes are cut out to um, an inch and three quarters, right? And on this holster, some of the on the back side in these uh, belt slots, um, it is kind of rough. You know, like it wasn't wasn't trimmed or whatever, which isn't a real big deal. But like I said, I, I try to find something that's wrong with the holsters, um, you know, or something that I notice that kind of bugs me. But you know, once you get it broke in, obviously that you're not not going to find that anyways. It's on the back side, um, on the inside of the belt holes. Um, like I said, I did fit it to this pistol. We'll clear this. You verify. All right. Now it is still pretty tight. Um, I only fitted it last night for one one night. All right. But if you can see the cant, it is supposed to be worn at about the four o'clock position, which a lot of my uh, outside the waistband holsters I wear more about the three o'clock. But this cant is pretty nice. I, I tried it on. I haven't wore it for very long. Like I said, this is just obviously the, the first uh, initial thoughts of the holster. But the feel is, is not as smooth as some of the other holsters. Um, I think it's just a, uh, the amount of lacquer. Or it might be you know, the, the way they put this color on. Because this is a brown. With, it's supposed to be with some red tints. Uh, the mahogany. But like my other ones are black and they, they have really more of a high gloss. So they're a little more uh, smooth. Um, this does feel a little porous, but like I said, it's, uh, it's rigid. You know, the pistol's not coming out of there. And it is just an open top holster. So um, once, okay, I, once I have this broke in, I will do an update video. Um, and it'll obviously be posted in the playlist. So make sure you check out the holsters and belts. Uh, so yeah, this is a Craft Holsters. You can check them out at craftholsters.com. They are in Europe and they deal with a lot of pistols that we might not have over here. So if you have a hard to find um, holster that you're looking for, uh, make sure you check them out. So make it an outstanding day and never for the dark. Ooh, fragile. Must be Italian.